everybody, welcome back to another Craft Break Live. My name is Emma Panuski, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really easy and quick last minute Halloween costume possibly, um, but a really cute way to decorate your fashion accessories or whatever articles of clothing you have uh, just in time for Halloween using Mod Podge Photo Transfer. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how to make a customized uh, pet t-shirt like this inspired for Halloween. So it's really, really simple to do. All you need is a t-shirt, your Mod Podge photo transfer, and a laser jet copy of your pet. So here I'm working with my sister's pet, actually, Captain. Since he is a black cat, I thought it was very fitting for Halloween. So I'm making this shirt for her so she can wear it near Halloween. But I just thought that this was a really cute idea to wear on Halloween, to wear the days uh, coming up to Halloween. Uh, just a really cute idea to make your life a little bit more festive and to include the furry friend in your life. So, before we jump into it, Caitlin is in the studio with us, so if you have any questions or comments throughout our live stream, make sure to comment them down below. Caitlin's going to be looking at all your questions and comments and relaying some over to me. Okay, so like I said, to get started, all you're going to want to have is your Mod Podge photo transfer, your uh, laser jet uh, print of your pet, and some and a t-shirt. You can use a t-shirt for this. You can really use any type of fabric though. And the really magical part about our Mod Podge photo transfer is that once you're done with the process and it's cured, it is then machine washable. So you can actually throw your t-shirt once you're done into the washing machine. You don't have to hand uh, clean it or anything like that. It's really, really easy to work with. So I have two wonderful Mod Podge formulas to show you. This is our Mod Podge photo transfer, which is what we're gonna be using in our project today. But we also have Mod Podge image transfer. Sometimes the two of these get confused. The main difference that I like to tell people is that Mod Podge photo transfer is really great for fabric. And I like to use uh, Mod Podge image transfer on uh, surfaces where I want some of the actual appearance of the surface underneath to show through. So I like to use this a lot whenever I am transferring something onto a pretty uh, raw wood grain. Um, the main difference is that whatever surface that you adhere your photo to, that surface is gonna show through your photo a little bit, whereas this one, you get a really clean background, um, a clean white background if you're using white printer paper so it's important to just cut around the image that you want to transfer. And this one works for fabric and this one does not. So this is the one that we're going to be using today. The photo transfer. And let's jump into it. I'm going to walk you guys step by step how I made this t-shirt so that you can make something like this at home. So first I have my t-shirt of course. Um, the great thing about this is that you can go to your local thrift store to get a t-shirt. Most craft stores have uh, a little section where you can buy a t-shirt or even like a baseball cap or a tote bag or really any kind of fabric you can think of would work great for this project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it flat and I'm kind of going to shimmy it so that I have the area that I wanna work with laying flat. And I think I'm gonna do the top corner. So this is where I'm focusing on right now. And then, you do use a jet ink printer, right? Laser jet. A laser jet. Yeah. Okay. Yes, correct. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut around Captain's face here. This would make a really great gift for somebody. Um, instead of, you know, if you're not big into dressing up for Halloween, instead of wearing your, this is my costume t-shirt, you can be a little bit festive. 
and uh, do a really cool photo transfer project like this with your own pet. Add a little witch hat on your furry friend. Okay, until we're left with just our pet face. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take my uh, Mod Podge photo transfer. This guy here. And one thing you'll notice about the Mod Podge photo transfer is that if you're used to working with a traditional Mod Podge formula, you're going to be a little bit surprised when you work with our photo transfer because it is really, really opaquely white and it is very, very thick. So here's what it looks like. I have some on my brush. And what you're going to want to do is apply a pretty thick layer to the entire surface of your image. You know, it's not like regular Mod Podge where we say a little bit goes a long way. You really do want to make sure that your entire image is white. You don't want to see any of your image showing through. And you'll notice too, I should have said, you do want to apply the photo transfer medium to the front of your photo. So the actual image part is where we're gonna be applying the Mod Podge medium. Okay, make sure it's nice and white. All right, that's looking good. So I'm just gonna rinse my brush. The great thing about this too is that super easy cleanup. You just rinse your brush like you would uh, any other kind of Mod Podge. I'm gonna take my photo here, flip it upside down so that the Mod Podge medium is uh, facing my t-shirt. And now I'm just taking my finger and starting from the bottom of my image and working my way up to the top, just making sure that it's nice and pressed on there. And what you don't want to do is, you know, start rubbing in this area, start rubbing in this area. You want to work in the same direction. That way uh, you can push out any trapped air that's underneath your image. So I'm starting at the bottom. I'm just using my finger, making sure it's really nicely on my t-shirt. And I'm just pushing up with my finger. And then once you feel like uh, it's nice and secured on there, you feel good about it. We're going to set it aside to dry overnight, and then the next day you will have a dried version. So it'll just look like that. And now we're ready for our next step. So uh, for all of you watching at home, what I did is I just uh, cut out my picture, I applied the medium to the front of my picture, I placed it onto my t-shirt, and now I'm going to let it dry overnight. Once that is dry, I'm gonna come back and it's gonna look like this and we're ready for our next step. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna dip it in just some clean tap water. And taking my damp paper towel, I'm gonna sponge that water onto my image. And you'll start to see the image start to come through a little bit. You just want to hit all the areas of your picture. Okay, so now you can see the image coming through a little bit. We know it's totally damp. And what I like to do is I like to use just my hands. I like to use a finger because I feel like I have more control over, you know, I can feel what I'm doing and I have feel like I have more control and I won't, um, you know, over rub and actually rub the ink off, which of course you don't want. A lot of people like to use a sea sponge or really any type of sponge to rub it off. But I find that using my hands works really well too. So I'm just going to use my finger starting in the middle, just rubbing my fingers in a circular motion. And you start to see we're already peeling that first layer of paper off. So 
So really, all we're doing here is we're removing that paper um, from our printed copy of our image until we're only left with our image alone, no paper, just that ink that has been transferred onto our t-shirt here. So just rub, rub, rub. I am using a pretty gentle touch because I don't want to um, rub it too hard and you know accidentally tear into anything. So I'm just using a very gentle finger. Dip your finger in the water if you feel like it's getting a little bit harder to rub. When we um, re-dampen the image, you'll find that it'll become easier to rub some of that excess paper off. Okay, so it's really easy, you guys. I would just go ahead and I would rub that first initial layer of paper off and then I would wait about 30 minutes there will be about two or three more layers that you'll want to rub off of the paper until you are left with that really crystal clear image of your pet you can see we made this really cute cat uh, witch inspired one here the one that I'm wearing is my uh, co-workers dog Oliver and I made him into a little Frankenstein but you can do so many fun things with this. Um, it's a really great technique to know just in time for Halloween if you're the type of person that likes to make your costume at home. There are a lot of opportunities to personalize a Halloween costume using a printed image with Mod Podge Photo Transfer. So I wanna give a big thank you to you all for tuning in with me this afternoon. Um, join us tomorrow where we're going to show you a really cute treat bag using Mod Podge fabric. Um, and like always, 